Hello guys, welcome here. This is Dare Dark and today we'll be finding out some hidden luxuries chest. Maybe you have missed some of them. Let's see how many you collected and how many you didn't collect. I may not able to show you the chest but I can tell you the location where you can find those chests. Enough intro, let's get into the video. Okay, the chest number one which is located at the Mondstadt and very common place which is at the top of the church. Check out if you missed that chest or not. I do miss that chest in early game. So the chest number two, which is located in a place where we already traveled like more than 100 times but we didn't see. So this is the place where you will see some sparkle and it will go into a trail and you have to complete it to get the luxurious chest. You have to follow the trail all the way up to this place. Chest number three, which is insanely far away from the monster and in a very hidden place. I don't know you guys have reached to that part or not but Still, I will show you the place. Just follow my navigation. So we have to run up to the top of the Star Snatch cliff. More than 80% of people don't know about that place. So it has some hidden and tricky techniques to get up to that place. So we have reached the top of the cliff and we have to get to that place. Yes, of course, it doesn't show on the map. That means this is a secret place. Even that place have a secret quest. To get to the place, you have to use amber so that your gliding energy consumption will be less. And also you can use some food which will give you extra stamina. It will take lots of time to reach to that place. We are going in 10 times faster and still we are at the midpoint. By this time, if you are watching my video for the first time, then make sure you subscribe my channel and of course turn on all notifications so that you can watch my future videos. And thank you so much if you have already subscribed my channel. I love you guys so much. Okay, we have reached to our location and we will follow all the way to this place. And from here, you can easily locate the chest which is right in this corner. Maybe you guys came here and missed the chest. <sighs> it was a long journey. So chest number 4, which is located at the top of this mountain. And there was a quest too, we done the quest but we missed the chest up there, including myself. Anyway, this time you don't need a route to get up there because you will find a way up to this place. Remember this quest we completed and the chest was literally right over here and we all missed that. I don't know about you but I missed the chest, that was my fault. So here is the location in the map. If you have already collected that chest then let me know in the comment section. Okay then let's get to the chest number 5. For that we have to get to the Inazuma and at the Grand Narukami Shrine. So we have to get all the way down here. Simply follow my route. So land on this huge vines which is faced toward the Narukami Shrine. And glide to the end where the vines ended. From here you will see another vines which is connected up there. And climb up to that vine and you will see a place to stand. From here you must use any of the child character. You can use Klee, you can use Nahida, any of the child character. And glide to the cone shaped rock over there. Yes, it's a little bit hard to spot but it is right over there. As you reach to that rock, you'll see a small gap above your head. As you go in a little bit, spam left and down key. Which will make you get inside that place. So we get into that place and you just follow all the way to this place. And your luxurious chest will be waiting right over here. And maybe there is a quest to come into this place, I don't know, but I found a trick to get it without any quest. Anyway, now the chest number 6, which is located around this domain entrance. There is a kind of ritual you must follow to get that chest. So as you see, these are the breakable pots, you have to break all of them. The vases are pots which are breakable, break all of them around this island including the vases on the water and the other places you can find. Use your elemental sight to highlight those pots and vases, break them all. Unless you see a pop-up message which call calling for reinforcement or something. Then come to this place, you will see an evil samurai waiting for you to murder you. So you have to eliminate the samurai and you will find the chest which is right over here. I'm standing. This is the exact location of the chest. Chest number 7 which is located in Kaznasa. Most probably there is a quest to unlock this place otherwise you won't be able to claim the chest. As you have done the quest you have to go to the throne place where you have escaped in the quest. And the chest is located right over here and as you collect the chest and there will be an achievement which give you 10 primo gems and the location in the map is right over here. 
Chase number 8, which I missed in the first place. The luxurious chest is located at the top of the dragon spine pillar which is floating on the air. And it will took a lot of time to get up to that place. I don't know, when you have done the quest in the dragon spine where you unlock the domain and where the pillar rises at the top on the sky. And when you come back to that place, um, you will get a luxurious chest on the top of this pillar. So here is the location in the map. Now the chest number 9 which is located in the chasm underground so teleport to this location and go to this huge mushroom where you talk to this mushroom and complete a quest but she didn't tell that there is a chest at the top of her head anyway get to the rock wall which is closer to the mushroom head and climb up to it to reach the top of the mushroom so there are many ways to climb to the top of this mushroom and the chest will be located right onto the top of this mushroom maybe most of us miss the chest not only me i miss the chest and i just find it later on when i come back here to 100 percent discover this place chest number 10 which is also located right over here in the chasm underground you have to go to this location and we remember the place where the floating pillar is right if you have completed the quest then you have seen the pillar which is floating over there and in same case in dragon spine you have to go to the top of that pillar and there would be a luxurious chest waiting for you so guys that's it i have showed you 10 location of luxurious chests which are really hidden and i don't know how many of you have already found it if you if you have collect all of them then you are actually very great and maybe i'm the only dumb person who just don't collect all of them and thank you so much for watching up to the end of the video i don't know like many of people don't watch the full video like they just cut something it's okay i also do the same thing but still i'll be requesting you to subscribe my channel and support me and i really need your support guys and this is really helpful for me and if you have any other request video then you can type in the comment section so that i can make another content for you by this time, take care. See you soon, guys. Goodbye.